Good morning, team. Good morning. Good morning. I wanted to do a very special uh, class on uh, the Fibonacci, and it's a very, very useful tool. And I also want to show on MT4 how to create your um, your targets of 38 and 61 to the downside, or if you are looking to take a long trade. I wanted to show you how I use the TP1, TP2 as targets. Okay, so let me explain a little bit. So let's say the trend was going down, right? And on that Fibonacci tool, we are looking for price action to come back to at least 50% line before we look to consider taking a sell back down to at least TP1, okay? What I've found in my experience is that if price action is not strong enough to come back to the 50 or the 61 area, which is known as the golden ratio area, I look for at least TP1, okay? And you can do a, a small one, a big one, a large one, doesn't matter. When the market is going down, you're going to take that fib and you're going to go from the high of the market to where that pullback started happening. And as she pulls back into there, this is where we're looking for the first down candle in our golden ratio area for a continuation down. Okay. And it works the same on the buy side. So on the buy side, we're looking for a thrust up or an impulse, an impulse. Okay. Then we look for where does that market correct? If it corrects back to at least a 58%, 61 area, I, I, I begin looking for a green bar upside to take the trade by to at least TP1. Usually the distance between our 50 and 61 zone area, which is known as the golden ratio, right in here, we're looking for the correction to stop and then the continuation to continue up to at least our 382 or 618, okay? I just wanted to do a real quick video on uh, how I use the FIB. And now that I've explained it on just the blank area, let's go and see how it looks like when it's on the chart. Okay. Let's apply it to the chart. And notice how um, I just have a, a blank chart. So here we, here we have a ceiling. Here we have a ceiling, right? We're not no longer making any higher highs. And we have an impulse away from that ceiling. So you can mark that ceiling, okay? You see price action moved away and then did, did a little pullback, okay? When that pullback happens, you take the FIB and you go from the top of the market and you bring it all the way down to where that price started pulling back. Okay, and then what you're looking for is you're looking for price to stay below the golden ratio zone. Okay, now since she didn't have enough to pull back to the 50 or the 61 area, you know that that is a strong trend. And most of the time, TP1 and TP2 are going to get hit because there was a weak pullback. And there is that. Okay, that's what it looks like on a sell. So let's find one that was on a buy. And basically, you can do a, a little one or a large one. Does it matter? As long as you find an area of support or a floor or a floor, you can take the fib and you're going to now we're going to go from the bottom because we want to find an upside target. So you take it. All the way up until where the market pulls back. You can use this one or you, if you want to wait and use that one. Okay. And then you kind of extend it over. 
and what we're looking for we're looking for price to be above our golden ratio zone 50 61 and then the first green bar we're looking to take to at least TP1 and TP2 okay you know exactly where you're going to enter first green bar going north and you know you need to put your stop loss right underneath that 50% line and it also coincides with your first trend okay I hope this this information brings value to you back test it see for yourself okay and, and you'll see that you have a very powerful tool in your toolbox. This is Master B. Uh, peace and blessings, family, and until we meet again later.